Hello Capricorn, we're getting ready to do your reading, so we're going to look and see what the Romance Angels have as messages for Capricorn in love. I don't timestamp the readings, they are timeless. If it finds you, it's yours. Passion, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. That is your energy. Enjoy the passion. Children, your love life is being affected by children. That is your partner. And free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life for the future, for your outcome, as well as the wedding card. This situation involves marriage. Interesting combination, right? Free yourself and a wedding. So interesting. Really interesting. Okay, so let's see. It's time to take back control. Okay. Getting married and taking back control. Okay, so let's see what we have for the Lenormand. Messages from the Lenormand deck. This is a different type of deck than Tarot. This are, we're gonna pull five cards here. The snake, ooh, okay. <laughs> the snake, this woman is being sort of, there's a snake wrapped around her, so clearly, that is a message. I'm going to read the message right from the book so I don't make any mistakes. I don't want to misspeak. So what else do we have for this energy here? The cross. Okay. The cross. So let's see what else we have. Okay, what else do we have? Lilies. That is really about purity of thought, purity really coming into the situation in a way that is very honest, very straightforward. You also may have the blessings for those who've crossed over with the Lilies energy protecting you. Let's look and see what your the dog card beautiful. Okay, so we have a lot of loyalty. Beautiful loyalty here in this relationship. And then let's see what the last card is here to give us a frame of reference for the whole reading. Okay, the man. The man is looking away from the situation. So let's look and see what the snake is. So the snake energy is card number seven. The snake, look before you leap, for snakes among sweet flowers do creep. Okay, well we have flowers. Okay, the snake card shows a beastly serpent coiling itself around a sweet young lady. It appears that the snake is a threat to the charming lady. But is she sweet and innocent? Is she really sweet and energy and innocent? Perhaps she is the threat. The snake card is warning you that appearances might be deceiving. The people who seem to be your friends and allies could be deviously undermining you because of jealousy, resentment, or sheer ambition. Pay close attention to the card that immediately follows the snake. The situation may be rife with treachery. This card may also warn you not to be dazzled and taken in by someone who seems charming but probably has his own agenda. When the snake card appears, make sure you keep your eyes open and see the situation for what it really is. Treachery, deception, charm, threat, blindsided, envy, intrusion, and ambition. So... We get the snake card is near the cross card, right? So the card next to it is the cross. So this is usually a cross to bear. So let's look and see what that energy is. 36, okay. People become attached to their burdens, sometimes more than the burdens are attached to them. In the Lenormand tradition, as in religion, the cross is a symbol of burden, suffering, and profound sacrifice. The cross card often signifies ordeals and trials that are unavailable, unavoidable and sometimes necessary in order to progress uh, to be in life's journey. So what I'm seeing here is that your person who loves you does not see the snake 
and that there are people around both of you that are warning you and yet you're both loyal to each other. So when we see free ourselves, we're going to go ahead and clarify that also. But first of all, we're going to do the main spread of cards, okay? So we know that there is some sort of underlying problem and my feeling is my sense of this is that some somebody's warning you not to take on quote unquote the burden of children quote unquote the burden of children that somehow you know there are people around you that are trying to undermine they're trying i believe that most of them are trying to do what they think is right but i don't think they know what is right so i feel that freeing yourself of the negative energy is while you move forward into a relationship we do though see with the man as he looks forward that he may be quite busy with children he may be he may not have as much time for the relationship as you would hope and it causes sort of a a spiritual crisis and you may even think that this person has been dishonest but we're going to let the cards tell the story as we always do so that's quite an opener right Capricorn quite a <laughs> are you on the edge of your seat because I am the ace of wands okay so you're coming in here you're throwing caution to the winds you feel very uh, excited about this relationship it's fire sign energy you're passionate it's a new passionate beginning for you. You're looking forward to this. The Queen of Wands energy, Capricorn. So we have the Aries Queen here, this energy of someone who, you know, is, is a leader, who likes to be happy, who likes to see things grow, who likes abundance and likes fast movement. And that is how you're coming into this relationship. The King of Swords, though, tells us this is Aquarius energy. So what we see here is though you're fiery and passionate, you're fired up about this relationship, you also have this tremendous ability. This is so good. You have the King of Swords energy, which says, I know the score. I see the light. I will watch what's going on here. I am aware of the snake and the cross. So it shows that you are duly aware. You're, you have your wide, eyes wide open. Let's see what your person's energy is here in this relationship. You are all about the passion, though. We have the Ace of Wands and the Queen of Wands. So you like the passion. Let's see what your person is bringing into this situation with you. Five of Cups energy looks as though there's some sadness about a past relationship. Um, I don't think that this is the two of you. I don't think you have children together. I'm not getting that energy. It does look as though you may have known your person for a long time. Three of Cups. There's a deep level of friendship here. Five of Cups says that this could be a friend with whom you had a falling out. But we have this beautiful dog energy here. Loyalty a beautiful spiritual connection. The Page of Cups. Pages are oftentimes represented, a representative of children. Messages. Your person's holding back. So we see them feeling as though the friendship is very significant. Somehow though, they definitely are feeling sad about something, that they have not finished grieving a situation. They're really coming in, but not with the level of passion, not with the level of commitment, not with the level of giving themselves that you have. They are very loyal. This is a loyal friend of yours. The Five of Cups also uh, will clarify all these cards, but let's look and see what is the energy of the outcome for the two of you. What is your outcome energy? King of Wands, okay, King to the Queen of Wands. So now we have a match set, right? Queen of Wands, King of Wands. So we have a divine coupling. That is typically a married partnership. Let's see what else we have. Temperance, okay, so this makes perfect sense. For some of you, you may have been married to this person. You may have been separated. For others of you, it looks as though children were affecting the passionate new beginning in a love life that you've had, the, 
that your person was uh, apologizing to you a lot for not being able to offer you what you wanted while you were ready to move forward quickly. Your person was moving at a much slower pace and really not giving you what you needed. So, you know, it really did inspire this sort of energy of feeling like you didn't know what they were doing. We do get, though, the King of Wands, a fiery Leo King, in it to win it, wanting to be your husband, wanting to love, enjoying the children. Remember, Leo energy is the fifth house of children. A temperance card, finding the balance, finding the beauty, finding the peacefulness with these beautiful doves. It is a reconciliation card. So I feel as though this relationship was off to a family start and you, there were some difficulties with how time was being allocated because we see this man energy here as being very busy and almost not having time for romance so let's see what what else we have here for outcome energy for you the knight of wands okay so your feeling has been is that your person will progress from the knight of wands into the king of wands you know we we see this person jumping through a flaming hoop of fire to get to you they're coming to you quickly you're coming to them quickly this knight of wands is that moment when you can't wait to you know to sort of put the fire out so to speak <laughs> willing to jo jump through hoops to see each other the seven of pentacles highly invested and the king of cups energy so the king of cups that represents the this masculine energy this is scorpio energy we have sagittarius we have um Taurus energy here. Temperance card of Sag again, you know, trying to keep a really optimistic look in the King of Wands is fire. So the energy is very passionate. It's deeply loving. The King of Cups energy is unconditional love, Scorpio love, the Phoenix rising from the ashes. But this is the two of you together. So you're very passionate. You're moving towards this beautiful energy of the, uh, the marriage card. So let's go ahead and clarify first of all how your person is feeling about your energy Capricorn why is the ace of wands here why is the ace of wands here for how they feel about you, the way you're presenting in the relationship four of wands oh beautiful that is the 11 11 twin flame card they see the queen of wands is clarified by the queen of wands they see you in your dignity they do think that you can be a harsh judge so it does look like the snake energy means that you may have said something that they felt was too harsh they felt as though perhaps you were in this energy let's clarify the snake for uh, the way they see you uh, in terms of that being your energy. Let's see what we have here. Why is a snake card here for the lover of our Taurus friend? Knight of Wands, okay. So that really does explain it. We have the Knight of Wands energy. Both of you actually are so passionate in the relationship that, that one of you may be violating some sort of other relationship, uh, but what we see is the rush to passion is maybe a temptation that could engulf the relationship itself because it does look like, you know, this is kind of Kundalini energy, but it shows that rushing in with passionate embrace is the clarifier for that snake energy. So it does show that the energy makes both of you feel vulnerable like is this real do we have a real love or is this person being snaky with me and you both feel that way so you know it's affecting both of you it's impacting both of you so let's see the ace of swords okay but the truth is that you both have clarity about the situation and the cross says that sacrifices must be made for children you know bearing the cross bearing the responsibility of children in the relationship i like it the eight of cups does look as though there was there were hurt feelings though the eight of cups is clarifying also this the quote unquote the cross to bear it's on top of the children card so it does look as though there was unhappiness on your part 
Capricorn. You felt as though you didn't get what you wanted. You felt a sense of a betrayal, but not of the worst kind. You have an understanding of it, but you don't like it. But what we see here, because we're going to clarify for you also, we're going to clarify the energy here that you have for your person. Why were you sad about this energy of them not having time for you? Well, how do you feel about that Five of Cups energy? They did apologize to you, but, you know, Magus the Healer says that you felt as though they could have manifested it. What else do you feel about the Five of Cups card? Nine of Discs, okay. So, you know, if, uh, you just felt as though you had some trust here, the Nine of Discs. You understood the workload. You did also think that they could overcome it. Maybe they didn't work hard enough to do it. Um, and you felt that they could have manifested time along with you. But, you know, the Hermit card, they did not. The Hermit card with the Page of Cups, again, says that you feel as though they spend more time alone than you want them to. You feel like you're not part of the equation. You feel as though they have, they're not paying enough attention to you as evidenced by the man looking away. The Six of Cups says that you want more pleasure. You feel as though they hold back. The Four of Pentacles, you feel as though, you know, Taurus, I mean, excuse me, Capricorn, that, you know, you just want more. And you're not really satisfied with this energy. You feel as though they could step it up. The Emperor card says that you think they have the authority, the ability to step it up. The Seven of Swords also is giving this feeling that you have that they might not be willing to do it. So that is going to be something that I feel is rep represented by the snake energy. Like, you know, come on. You know, are you really telling me the truth? Is this really all that burdensome? Why can't I be around the children? You know, why can't we start to form a unit of our own? Uh, because, you know, as the Emperor, the Queen of Wands and the Emperor could certainly solve those problems. And it does make you feel... You know, your part person feels as though you are not being so supportive and that it makes them feel badly. But you feel badly also because of this energy. The Prince of Cups is clarifying the Knight of Wands. So the Prince of Cups is very loving energy that no matter how passionate things are, you know, you certainly feel as though there's a deep level of love. Temperance is clarifying temperance. You're on the same page. All right. So why is the Seven of Pentacles? How do you feel about the your their investment in your relationship? Knight of Wands. Aha. Again, Knight of Wands, Knight of Wands, coming in quickly, leaving quickly, not having time for you, not devoting enough to you. Even though you have Knight of Wands energy also, or, or no, excuse me, you have Ace of Wands energy. I apologize, I misspoke. So you have a lot better balance and you feel very upset and bothered by the fact that your person is coming in quickly, leaving quickly, not spending enough time with you. Ten of Wands, it's oppressive. Your person does love you, but you feel as though they're giving you or they're creating a burden that is very, very difficult for you, Capricorn. Why is the King of Wands here? What's the King of Wands energy? The Hanged Man. Yep, they feel as though you're not stepping up, you're not stepping in, that you're not really taking the, the situation seriously, or that you, Capricorn, you feel this way about your person. You feel as though they are not giving you enough attention. They're too busy. You don't think that they're cheating on you at all. You feel as though they're in it to win it with you, but you're going to walk away from this relationship if you can't find your place in a family. So for some of you, this is going to be a difficult situation in which you may walk away because we it says free yourself. So free yourself, you know, this person, you do love each other, but let's see why Spirit is telling you to free yourself. Of what is it that Capricorn needs to free themselves of? 
very pure thought. You have respect for this person. You understand things, but you're not really fully buying that they're in the relationship at an equal level, that they're willing to give like you are. Nine of Wands, you have fire in your belly. You're willing to go through this. And we see the Knight of Swords, you have clarity. So what I'm seeing here is you are going to say, sort of give your person, I wouldn't say definitely an ultimatum, but I would say a little bit of information that you're going to share with them that, you know, you do feel as though they are your soulmate, but you also need for them to stick around to be around more. So we see your person is very, the sun card indicates that both of you love each other. You're one another's happy place. It looks like you've known each other for a long time. It looks like this love relationship is uh, one that shows me that you've, you know, you may have loved in the past as younger people. You know, you may have been separated for a period of time. I think you took divergent life paths. Now you're coming back together. And, you know, and, and blended families can be difficult. So let's see how your person feels about your reaction to them. Five of Swords. They think you're not being fair. Your person feels king of cups, okay. So your person really does love you. The Three of Pentacles says that they will work with you on the relationship. They will try to collaborate on the relationship. They do see that you are empress to their emperor energy. They really, you are building this bridge here. Your, your insistence on freeing yourself if they don't come into this relationship and give more gives stability the daddy energy comes to the entire relationship capricorn that's taurus energy it becomes grounded nourishment feeding the relationship will help you deal with the snake energy purity all beautiful the dog card is such a beautiful energy here with the lilies fruition. So it does look as though the two of you work through these issues together. Creation. Beautiful. So Capricorn, I hope you enjoyed the reading. Sending a lot from Chicago. Send some back and let me know where you're from. Bye-bye.